you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Going to break down the theory of Little Wing. So we're going to talk about the chord structure, the key. Um, we're going to talk about Hendrix embellishments, and we're also going to talk about how to solo over it. So basically, uh, just a little study of the tune. So I hope you enjoy it. Also, I've got free courses at Marty Music, my website. First link uh, in the comments below, first comment. We'll take you right there. Let's have some fun. Let's learn some stuff. All right, I want to talk about the theory of this song, you know, the chord structure and the scales, and also just talk about some approaches for soloing over it. So the best thing to do is to remind first, rem remind ourselves that we're in E flat tuning, so you can be in the same tuning as me, and then simply go over the most, you know, basic uh, version of the chord progression, because the song's the same chord progression over and over. So it's an E minor. And this is kind of a caged, a caged system method, I would say, the way we'll be talking about this a little bit. So that's always good to explore. So we have E minor, then we have G major, then we have A minor, back to E minor. Then B minor, and just a chromatic thing, meaning a half step, then another half step. So it's B minor to A minor, but with a chromatic in between. B minor, B flat minor, A minor, and then a C chord, C, and then G to F, and then a C, and then a D. One more time, E minor to G. A minor, back to E minor. And we're gonna go B minor. E minor, B flat minor, A minor, C, then G to F, and then C to D. So the next thing is understanding, you know, some of the, just the basic bar chords of that. But first, let me tell you that E minor to G, and then to A minor, and then back to E minor, and then this part. Everything up to that is, is all just right from the key of E minor really which is the key of G major, relative major, relative minor. So all those chords is from one pool of notes and one scale, it's E minor. Now the thing is, when it gets to G, F, as soon as you get to that F, that's like not traditionally from that same scale. However, the most sim simplest approach is that the E minor pentatonic scale, and all its positions it's going to work over the entire song so you can kind of plug in the E minor pentatonic and then when there's certain moments you can use some other chord tones besides the pentatonic to kind of emphasize some of the changes. But you can always fall right back on on the most basic E minor pentatonic, especially this one right here on the 12th fret. You know, so you plug in the E minor pentatonic, then we're gonna talk about knowing the chord, press chord progression well enough to then play over some of the chord, chords when we feel like it. So it's just a different approach. It's really kind of all from the same key still, but it's a, like different ways of thinking about it. So the next step of that is just knowing like the basic bar chords because the embellishments to play over the chords, especially what he does in the intro of the song, is really revolving around uh, the kind of like the basic chord shapes, right? So let's just talk about the basic ones for E minor. You got E minor, then we got the A root, and we have that 
A shaped minor for E minor. And then you got the 12th fret up here, or a bar, and the pentatonic underneath it. This one. We'll talk more about that. And then you got this one. And the pentatonic's always underneath it with the chord. The E minor pentatonic. Now for G, we have a G bar chord right here. We got the regular G here. Right? Then we have the A rooted major, because it's a G major chord. So we can play G major, barred on the 10th with the ring across there. Now with this one, that opens up the Hendrix major inversion, which I have other videos on that that focus more on it. But you've got this G major and you just switch that finger there and you play what's called the major third of the chord in the bass. So now I'm doing that and this is, I'm thinking of this as G major. And when you get into this position, then that's where you get these. All right. Now, we have that B minor thing. And so we were doing it right here, so that's the A root B minor. But you also have the E root B minor. And then you got the way Hendrix would play it. And then with that C major chord, you got this, you know, we don't have any new bar chord shapes to talk about really. We have this C here. We got this C right here. Then we talked about the G to F, you know, C, D. Well, we have got it up here as well. Now, I recommend you learn, trying to learn um, some of these other Hendrix songs because you're going to see, actually, the same embellishment. So if you go to Bold as Love, that's really going to help with what I'm going to talk about now. And you can hear how we can, you know, take the Hendrix thing and make it happen. So let's just play the intro of the song that I already, you know, spent a half hour teaching in the other video. And we'll look at where those licks and ideas are coming from. So that... That part, that's all chiku ka boo da da do da da. The E minor is right here. Open E. And then this is from the E minor pentatonic. And then up here, that's still from that scale. E minor pentatonic, the ultimate E run. And the cool thing is that anytime you play E minor pentatonic, you're also playing the G major pentatonic. So you don't have to change any real concepts lick-wise over the E minor or the G. It's all from the same little bag. So uh, then we get into where he goes. So that's for a G major chord. And that's where I talk about bold as love, because when you do the thumb on the root, you have this piece. It's all, you know, it's all there on bold as love. Is when you think G major with the root on the E, Hendrix can go. So he's got these top two, and he can hammer on pull off a whole step on the B or high E. Then he'll transition. And it doesn't happen in Little Wing, but for this particular part, but we're going to talk about it, middle finger switches there. You still got the bass note. Index goes to that second fret. And then you hammer on.
for this shape, it'd be the fourth fret of the G string. Oops. Transition. Now with this song, it's a G chord, so he has the open G string in there. And then he goes into the F shape. And he's just adding that sus. But so if you were just improvising, open E. So I was following the basic bar chord shapes and then using those embellishments. Dropped my pick here. But so check it out, E minor. I have the E minor pentatonic that I just kind of toyed with there. And then on the G, I went to the Bold as Love move. And then the next chord's A minor. You move your thumb up and now you're in any minor chord, you got the minor pentatonic always. So I can embellish and think A minor pentatonic while it's over the A minor chord, but I can always fall back to the E minor pentatonic over the whole thing. And it's because they share a lot of the same notes. So A minor. You know, I'm just thinking all A minor pentatonic because I'm really trying to embellish over the chord. And then back to E minor, we have all the same choices. And in the actual intro of the song, he goes to this E minor, Pinky Off makes it E minor seven, and he just toys the high part here by hammering and pulling off on the B. And then he hits uh, the E minor pentatonic with the extra, streak, extra strings in there. But that's all over E minor, an E minor pentatonic scale in this position. All that, you know, for that intro, he's just really embellishing the chords. So you got B minor, and then he's just adding some notes from... extensions of that B minor, but they all still are part of the E minor scale. So we're not really, we're not leaving the key at all, but we're going to add this for the B minor. And then you have A minor and it goes to that C chord, which means you could do the C embellishment. So when you're doing A minor stuff, you're also doing C major looking stuff. Once again, minor chords have a relative major, major chords have a relative minor that share all the same notes. So C major, you got that, you also have thumb on C and then the bold as love move. C major right here. You got G major with the thumb. Now what's what he does on that on on this song, which is just, it's kind of an unusual chord. And so the chord, what he's doing there, it doesn't have a third in it, so it has the suspended feeling. And even though it's like G, 
yeah. the under the underscoring, the uh, you know the structure below it, or the implied uh, harmony G F C D. He just plays these weird versions, um, where normally you'd have this finger right here. that's not happening he's letting the open G ring out so what you get when you play a G here is you get the root you get the root again you get the fifth which just makes it basically what's called a five chord or a, you know like a power chord and then you add that on top which is the nine so you need a third what's called a third in a chord to give it its tonality to make it major or minor. So now we have this kind of suspended sound. Like the police would use a voicing like this a lot later on after Hendrix. But because of that, you're really just like, it's like a five add nine, I think is what you would call it, which you'd also get in this kind of thing. You know that. works specifically well for the G because you got that when you go down the G is still in there so now when you're playing F and now it's got a, a G in there it's another nine so it starts to like change the coloring and then we're just back at regular C and D but when you move C up a whole step get a funky kind of D chord and he does have a little bit of that sound in there so let's let's try one other thing well we're gonna keep going here uh, so E minor to G I'm gonna go up to this G major with that embellishment and then a minor I'll do right here and I'll do an open E minor And I'll do B minor right here. And then that C, I'll grab right there. And then the G, I'm going to move up to here. And then F. And then I'll do the C. And then D. All right, now all A roots, E minor. G, A minor, A root, back to E minor, and we need the A root, so B minor, and then C, G. F, C, and D. All right, all E roots, E minor. G. A minor. E minor. B minor. major G F C D Now I'm going to do the most basic form of the chord progression with a looper clear my looper out and then we're going to talk and we're just going to solo over it
So all E minor pentatonic right now. Works over the whole thing. E minor, ultimate E minor run. So I was that whole thing was just the E minor pentatonic. I wasn't thinking of anything else. So literally like playing like a minor blues, like an E minor blues. So any spot of the E minor pentatonic that I've got, I can then also, just when I'm feeling like it or challenging myself to break up just my blues licks, I can go into some of those embellishments even as a solo. But let me show you a couple of the classics that happen in there when it goes, uh, uh, So right before it hits that G major, he adds a little, he adds an extra note, which is just from the E minor scale. Pentatonic is five notes. The full scale is seven notes. So we're, we're adding one of those extra two notes that we're missing from the pentatonic. And it's right here on the 13 of the B. So I'm doing 13, 12, and then I grab the 12 on the G. And then I bend the 15 up a whole step on the B. And then there's these little stabs that are just the chord. So G major is right there on the 15 of high E and B. And then on the 14 of the G, you bend that up a whole step. And that's like kind of a country lick. And it's a G major chord. When you bend that up, it's the major third. It'd just be like playing this. Major chord, G major. And the next chord of the progression is F, so you can take that same move and go down a whole step. So. And then if you know any of those embellishments, That's another one. Nothing, uh, it's just straight from the E minor pentatonic. You have whole step bend on that 15 of the B and then up again, then natural, and then back to the 12, 15. It's all from the pentatonic. So let me go one more time through and I'll try and add, you know, for, for the major, chords, you know, the embellishments that come more from the intro, but hopefully you can see that I'm, I do know what chord is coming and, and that I'm using it specifically for that chord. Here we go.
minor, up a whole step to Z minor. You've got E minor. You got G. You got A minor. Back to E minor. B minor. A minor, C, G, F, C, D. I'm throwing a couple other things from the caged in there. Alright, thanks you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Also, thanks for uh, that extra support at martymusic.com. You can go check that out. Uh, also, feel free to leave your request in the comments below. And while you're down there, I'd love for you to subscribe. Thank you so much. Hope to see you again. I gotta keep on making it. Keep making it.